Hey everyone, it's Lauren Rasmus and I want to show you a method that I use to get lots and lots of home party bookings. Um, sometimes even Facebook parties as well. Um, I can't take complete credit for the idea. One of my awesome girls in my downline came up with it. Her name is Jen Jones. So thank you, Jen. This is an awesome, awesome strategy for getting more parties. A lot of the girls on my team are actually using this as well with awesome success. So I do this at every single party that I do, um, even if it's a really, really small party. So I call it the envelope game. Um, I have three envelopes. These envelopes I actually just got um, at Target. They're in the stationery section. You can get a big pack of them with different color postcards too. So I just use a whole bunch of these guys. And you can put any prizes in them that you want. Um, I love putting our sample sheets in them. They're great for accent nails um, for our hostesses as these gifts. Um, you can also write down little prizes on a slip of paper, like a percentage off an order, free shipping, um, if you're feeling generous, a mini heater, things like that. Um, so there's lots of different prizes, okay? So what I do while I'm at a party, and I'm talking about how awesome our host rewards are, I always say, ladies, I like to do a little something extra for my hostesses, because without my hostesses, my business is nothing. So on top of all of our amazing host rewards, you're going to get a prize from me. So this is called the envelope game. It is not a game of skill, if you are at all like me. So no worries, a lot of times uh, party guests kind of panic and they're like, oh, games, I gotta be good at something, I gotta get my purse out and get all these points for all this stuff, no. So I tell the guests at the party, if you book a party with me tonight, you will get to choose an envelope, okay? You will get your envelope the day of your party. If we get three parties on the calendar tonight, even if down the road something comes up, we need to flip-flop dates of your party, totally fine. But if we get three dates on the calendar tonight that booked off of Susie's party, you will get an extra gift from me the day of your party. Okay. Now, the cool part is if we book three parties and we get rid of all of these envelopes, our lovely hostess is going to get an extra free sheet of nail wraps from me tonight to take from my stash um, as an extra thank you. So that's what I do. Um, I really, I don't push it. I talk about the envelope game pretty early on um, in my presentation. I leave the envelopes out where everybody can see them. And like I said, even if you have a really, really small party, I think it's still worth doing. Um, an example that I can give you is I had a party a while back and there were three guests and the hostess. So there were four ladies there. And part of me, you know, when the party started, I kind of thought, oh, I'm not going to do it because there's not that many people here. But then I decided to do it. So what was really cool was two of the ladies were going to book parties anyway. And they kind of egged on the last girl. And they said, come on, there's only one envelope left. So they sort of pressured her a little bit. But I ended up getting three bookings out of it. So what's really nice about this is, you know, those people that are kind of on the fence about, do I have a party? Do I not? I'm not really sure. Um, this is kind of that little push to get them to book with me. Obviously, it's not going to um, make somebody book a party who really has no interest in booking a party. That's totally fine. Um, but so that's the envelope game. That's it. It's really that simple. Um, so I hope you're able to use it, and I hope you are able to get some more bookings from it. Bye, everyone.